Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the pixellab.net. Got a really quick tip for you today. And this came about because I was talking to a buddy at work and he was mentioning that he really wished there was a solo button in Cinema 4D similar to the one in After Effects. So if you just wanted to solo one item, especially when you're texturing, uh, that way you wouldn't have to render out the whole scene to kind of see what your texture is looking like, right? Well, there are definitely a couple ways of doing that. And one of them is to take your objects and put them in layer groups, and then you can toggle them on and off. Um, another thing that you could do is use your interactive render region, and then you can specify a little portion of your screen that you want to render. Well, the reason I don't really like using this is that it renders constantly, even when you're kind of playing around with stuff, it's constantly taking up uh, your RAM and rendering, and I don't know, I just don't really like using that. The quick tip I have for you today is simply clicking an object and then going to your render dropdown, and there's this button called Render Active Objects. And if you go ahead and click that, you'll notice that it's just rendering that one object that's highlighted. And this is a huge time saver when you're texturing and you don't want to render everything. You just want to see what your texture is looking like on that one object. And you can go ahead and like hold shift down and click multiple ones and then go to uh, render active objects and it'll render whichever ones are highlighted. So that is something that I use all the time and I just want to make sure that you guys are aware of it. It'll speed up your workflow tremendously. So I hope that helps guys. Thanks for checking out the video and we'll talk again soon. Bye everybody.